Welcome to another episode of eBay Real or Fake eBay Scam. Today we have a geode uncut. Well, it. Okay, so they, they mark these as potential geodes because nobody yeah. can know for sure. Until you cut it. Until you cut it, but are these guys just like out there picking up any old rock on the ground? You just find a red rock. That's a geode. I'll sell that on eBay as a geode. Or do these rocks that you buy actually have high potential to be a geode? We didn't feel like buying 10 because it was a lot of money. So we bought one and hoping to get lucky. And if we don't, I guess we'll buy another and we'll keep buying geodes until we find a geode and see. Dan will keep buying geodes. <laughs> We've got a small test that we want to do first. So this geode weighs 170 grams. We got we other can't... rocks that look like they're similar composition. And all of these together add up to 170 grams. And now we have a jug of water here. A graduated cylinder. <laughs> Our graduated cylinder. Well, if there's a hollow air cavity in here, then it should have take up more volume for the same amount of weight as the rock. So when we put these rocks in, the, these rocks should have a little less volume and that would tell us that there's potential of an air cavity, which might look cool. Yeah, but because we're not being super precise with a Sharpie, a pile of rocks and a jug of water, if the cavity is really small, we might not be able to tell. So stick that in right in the middle of that Sharpie line. So now we need to remove this and try and keep as much of the water in there as we can. We're gonna lose some. Just blow it off. <laughs> and now when we stick all of these in there, which weigh the same, we should displace less water. So we should not be able to reach the line. We got We're a ways a under. Geo, Dan. We're a ways under. I think if you base it on like how much volume of water that is, this should be like all cavity. There's only one way to really find out though. Go to the dentist. Yes. So we also wanted to cut this rock. It's one my nephew gave me because we see some signs of fossil in there, like a possible shell and some lines from uh, some other type of shell maybe. So cut that in half and see what a fossil looks like from the inside up. Have you ever seen me surprised? Never. Scared? Never. I ain't ever scared. Did we get lucky? Oh! Holy cow! Holy cavity! That, that, looks, that looks cool too, the stripes. It's quite the cavity. The cavity like goes back behind in there. And up back in there. And... So here... You can't really see anything fossily. The shell is like right here. That you can see from the outside. So you can kind of see that same curve in there. But if you just saw this face to the untrained eye, AKA us. Like that little thing looks like maybe it could be something interesting. Fossilized shrimp. Didn't break. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, got a break right along the shell of that one. So this corner right here, that was the part of the shell that was visible from the outside and then we just cracked it and broke all of that off to reveal the rest of the shell. Then that weird thing that I called a shrimp earlier, that's like inside the shell. That's the pearl. I think it is. We have a fossilized clam. 
prehistoric pearl. With a pearl inside, or part of one. I'm going with it. Nobody can tell me otherwise. What are you aiming for? Same thing as I was, that junction box. Oh. That one didn't even stick. We had a lot of clay today. <laughs> my shoulder is uh, out of alignment. <laughs> sure it is. I threw my neck out today. Oh! oh! Doesn't count. Closest yet. We've cut a lot of things over the years. If you see anything here that you would like to watch, just search for that item on our channel. And you'll be able to see it. If you like what we did with the eBay scam, you can click here to see when we bought a Megalodon tooth, or you can click here when we bought a dinosaur egg, or you can just click here to subscribe.